How's it going, brother? It's going good, man. It's good, going good, all right. good. Now, I follow you on social media. <laughs> Big fan of yours. Just wondering, though, generally for my fans, uh, what does Hudson Yang do these days? Well, how's life after fresh off the boat? Do you watch Premier League, anything like that? Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> I have been starting to. It's, it's been weird, you know? I've been doing Fresh the Boat for like most of my life, so stopping it, it's been kind of like a shock. But I've been working on a lot of new things. Um, cooking has been my new passion. Ooh. I actually just got back from Singapore. Uh, I finished a, pro uh, like a production out there, a cooking show, mm. which is coming out next year. Um, I've been auditioning, acting, uh, doing some writing as well. So just trying to get back out there, find something new, find something I enjoy. Yeah, cooking. Watch out, Eddie. Eddie yeah. Wong. <laughs> I am doing it differently, but we'll see who does it better. Now, um... Do you still keep in touch with Randall, Constance, and the rest of the gang? I mean, do you, are you guys going to plan to reunite or anything like that? We actually reunited recently. Me, Randall, Forrest, and Ian, we came out. I served them a meal. Oh. Um, it's been great. I miss them so much. They, they really have been like my second family, so it's always great to see them. Cheryl, how are you doing? Hi, oh, I'm hi. good. How are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> so what brought you to the red carpet today? I am excited to watch the movie. Um, obviously, you know, I'm a big fan of like Squid Games, Parasite, and uh, the synopsis was of this movie it sounds really like a uh, high thriller and I am excited to just watch it because um, you know to see more Asian representation on screen is like a big thing for me as an actor and a singer um, so I just I'm just so excited to watch this yeah are you, are you a big fan of Korean cinema in general yeah yeah I'm currently watching uh, the extraordinary Wu. <laughs> Is <laughs> that oh, a yeah, new yeah, thing? Netflix. Yeah, I love it. It's amazing. Uh, and then, of course, like the I think the business lawyer. They I forgot what the title no, is, no, but that, that one was uh, episodic, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah, then like just... crash landing on you. So yeah, I try I try to keep up with like what's current, but uh, obviously the actors are really talented, and you know, big fan of Lee Bing Hyun and uh, Song Kang Ho. So yeah, it's great to see them come out with another movie like this. Yeah. Before I let you go, so. For us Asians, uh, what are still the, some of the challenges uh, in Hollywood for us today? Well, some of the challenges is to see us in like a non-stereotypical role, I guess. Because uh, Asians tend to be, you know, um, I guess in the past shown as like the nerdy kid or the, like, the one token Asian in like a group. But, you know, now we can put Asians as like, we are now the lead characters. We are now, we can now tell our storylines and we are normal human beings just like every other Asian American uh, person and I, uh, you know, so just to tell our story that is I think that is the most important and to show that we can too be represented on the big screen. Peter Guang, the legendary Peter Guang, how are you sir? I'm doing great. What a wonderful day. Yeah. A little warm in Los Angeles but I'm looking for a hot movie today. Yes, yes, I was going to ask you that. Are you a fan of Korean cinema in general? Uh, of course. Yeah. I was there watching the uh, at the celebration of Parasite when it oh, won its that? Oscar. It, I was at the uh, the cast party. Wow. I was blown away. It was wonderful. And so, yeah, I, Korea's, you know, taken the Hollywood and the Oscars by storm. And so now they're, they're up for, you know, uh, the upcoming TV stuff, you know, right, Squid Game, etc. So. Now, now, I want to ask you that, you know, K-pop, Squid Game, Parasite, what makes uh, everybody so Korean crazy these days? What's so popular about that? I don't know what it is, but don't turn it off, right? <laughs> No, as a big fan of yours, um, thank you. Looking back at Big Trouble, Little China, in Little yes. China, I mean, what are some of your fondest memory of um, making that movie with Kurt Russell? Well, first of all, the director, John Carpenter, was yeah. awesome. He just said, so creative. One of the best experiences in filmmaking that I've enjoyed, uh, and that is when the director t says, Peter, bring me all your ideas and let's filter them out after. I said, I want long hair. I want to do the sword work. I want to be very creative and. They custom made that uh, outfit for me because they had bamboo slats and they shortened the slats, cut them in half so I can, you know, do some sidekicks and things like that. So it was pretty awesome. Now, uh, have you ever planned of maybe kind of thing, the idea of reuniting with Kurt for a sequel or a pre anything like that? I, you know, right now there's the, the, the rumors about Rock, uh, Rock Johnson, right, redoing it, oh, no. and uh, yes. not not as a remake, but as a se prequel or a sequel or whatever to that that film. So we'll see what happens. You know, if you're out there, Rock, I'm your man. Before I let you go, sure. 
for us Asians, what are the challenges for us Asians right now in Hollywood today? What are still challenging? Much, much better. I remember when I started in film, it was in the Motion Picture Academy, you can count on your hands and, and fingers the amount of Asians in the Academy as far as the actors are concerned. Now, because of the A2020 initiative, the different initiatives of the, the Motion Picture Academy, we have our very first Asian woman as president of the Academy. So that is mind-blowing. And at the same time, the opportunities for Asians are much, much more than when I started back in the 70s. So, so you're optimistic about the future? I'm very optimistic. You know, it's not quite there yet, but we're seeing more and more supporting roles opening up in television and more feature films and lead roles, even in Asian films, made in America. Not only Asian films from Asia, but films here. So it's great. Kevin, big fan of Bling Empire. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing great, man. It's a little hot. Aren't you hot? I know. I'm a little hot, too. <laughs> well, you look hot. You look hot. Thank you. Hot. Thank you. So I want to ask you, spoiler alert, um, yeah. that fight with Kane, man, how intense was that? That's that was intense. really intense. Yeah. I mean, like, I actually never felt like that before. Wow. Yeah. But you guys patch up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, like, on a neutral ground now, so that's better than nothing. But, yeah, after something like that, it's hard to rebound from, you know? I know. Man. Love makes you do crazy things, right? Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, my friend Yasmin is on the, in season two. That's your friend? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's cool. She's a sweetheart. Yeah. So what's, what is the secret to success of uh, Bling Empire, do you think? I think it's to be yourself. Yeah? Yeah, just don't think, just be yourself. Is it the most honest reality show out there, you think? I mean, I can't say it's the most honest, but I know I try to be the most honest as I can there, for sure, 100%. Cool. We're here tonight for uh, Emergency Declaration. Yeah, Are you a fan of Korean cinema? Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, we all saw Squid Games, right? Yeah. I just saw Train to Busan. Like, that was awesome. So I'm catching up. I'm catching up on, on my K-pop and stuff. Well, what, what do you think makes Korean cinema so popular today? I think it's because they're not truly influenced by Western culture and society but they still like it and they can stick to their own culture in Korea so it's like we 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 have different flavors of taste and drama they go to the extreme if you know what I mean yeah. I think sometimes here we're culture to like play it safe sometimes too much you know I see yeah, yeah, yeah. lastly before I let you go uh, as Asians uh, what are some of the challenges that we're still facing in Hollywood today oh my god I think it's you know, it's our own undoing, I think. You know, we are our own biggest critics, and whenever we have a chance to uplift, we bring it down. Because I think we we look for too much of what makes us different. And each Asian culture, race, and we should all just be a melting pot and support each other and still celebrate our cultural differences instead of looking for every little nitpicky thing like our parents used to do. And now we're doing it to ourselves. So if uh, we're going to not succeed, it's because we bring ourselves down at this point.